This was going to be a completely different video, but unfortunately the emulation gods didn't play along. Neither Zinnia nor a PCS3 could cut the mustard. Vertex explosions were common in Zinnia, which makes the game unplayable, but that's not all. I also experienced texture bugs and audio issues. I got it. As for a PCS3, there's not much to add, except that performance is awful. You'll mostly be running in the low teens if you're lucky, and audio crackles make things unbearable. So the PC version is your only option, but is it any good? The good news is that it ran flawlessly for me. The game maintained a solid 60 and never crashed or had graphical issues. I was very impressed by the graphics, but since the game was built on the impressive Dunia engine, it shouldn't be surprising. However, I must still caution players regarding DirectX 10. I tested the game for about an hour, with max settings using the DX10 backend. The PC Gaming Wiki has a warning that it may lead to graphical issues. I don't know if it's hardware specific, but if you do have problems at some point, just switch to DX9. I couldn't see a difference between the two renderers anyway. The only problem I really had were the button prompts. I was using a 360 controller, and while it worked fine, the on-screen buttons were still keyboard specific. It's annoying, but I got used to it. Okay, so I convinced you to try the PC version, but how do you play it? Well, it's not on Steam or GOG anymore, so your only option is abandonware sites. You'll need the game, obviously, as well as the two main patches and the key generator. Don't download the key gen yet. I can confirm it contains a virus, but there is a safe way to use it, and I will show you how in a bit. Installing the game is easy. Just extract the ISO file to your desktop and then double-click it to open in your explorer. After that, you can run setup and begin installation. Remember to not install into your program folder. It causes issues, so install the game anywhere else. I always use the game folder instead. The two international patches should be installed in order. It will fix numerous problems and improve compatibility on modern systems. Lastly, we need to run the key generator, but we'll download it first through the sandbox. This protects your PC by running suspicious apps in a self-contained Windows instance. So just head on over to Edge and go to the same website as before, where you downloaded the game from. You'll probably get a warning that the download is unsafe, but it doesn't matter because everything is in a sandbox. Now, you should start the game and wait for the activation screen to pop up. From there, you should select manual activation. This is where you will receive your computer ID. And it's this computer ID that you need to enter here in the key gen. Once that is done, the key gen will give you the activation key. Alright, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.